Hi YouTube, this is Kaichi, and uh, as you can see, there is a brown knife servo in front of me. And actually, I'm gonna let it go tomorrow. So I would like to make a quick review for this knife. You can see it. It comes with a nice pelican case, and uh, there is uh, like Torx and the COA of it now this is brown knife servo number 102 let's see the mailing pattern on the scale is a little bit hard to focus yes and some of my friends called it like like the honeydew and it's kind of funny to describe that in this way okay. basically it's a really nice knife but I think that it's just a bit too big for me the 3 inch to 3.6 inch will be the perfect size for me Okay, and let's see the blade shape. It's a uh, it's a stone stone wash blade, stone wash finished, full flat grind. I will kill this spear point if you if you don't mind because some may think it's a it's a drop point but for me it's more like a spear point and this side the lock side there is a like over travel stop here which allow you to like uh, stop your lock, lock bar from over traveling Okay, and the steel is M390, which is really good. Uh, another well-rounded steel, same as 20 CV. Okay, and see the, the the drop action. Pretty like, it's not like drop. It's not drop shot. It's not like. It's more like. Make make me think about the Shiro. It's a bit hydraulic, cause the I think it's because of the bearing. Craig Brown is the knife maker, and he made his own bearings, and he calls um, DRB, which is dual rose bearings, homemade himself. I think it's that is pretty pretty good. So make the the drop more hydraulic. And we wish the way I like it. And uh, this is this pleasure is really is also really good to to cut because uh, the belly on this blade is a bit a bit like white, so it's it's really hard to to focus on the blade indeed. Okay, this way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the action is smooth, and uh, the the blade fly out so so quick. And let's talk about the uh, the D10. I think the D10 is like good enough, but the D10. It's not something impressed me the most because I uh, I do think that the detail is like good enough and okay but something really like impressed me is the 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 lock bar like normally I I saw the lock bar at like twenty even like forty. 
some may goes up to like 60, 70 and that's the like max but in in this case the brown knife servo it could get the like 100% lock up which is really like terrible really really terrible and I, I don't want to like show the the, the lock bar of 100% here I can just show you the lock bar like maybe 20 yes like 15 or 20 here because I'm gonna send it to the buyer tomorrow so I don't wanna put it to the 100% I, I just did like one or two times so I, I remember but it really impressed me because it could be like from this place to this place completely 100% lock up and I guess that is for for emergency use if if the situation requires you to do to to hold a knife like that like 100% lock up it, it must be so emergent and uh, in that case the, this would be a really tough knife I, I guess okay and another special part is uh, there is a uh, there is an unsharpened part here somewhere around the, the, the finger choil here so it allows you to hold a knife like like this like this and actually it's a it's a big knife so if you hold a knife like this the blade is like 3.8 inches it's a pretty big knife. It's some somewhere like most it almost the same as Shuro F95, even a little bigger. But if you hold a knife like this, you can get a better control of of the blade and uh, make it like a smaller knife. So actually it's like what I say this is a pretty pretty nice knife and uh, it, it could be versatile it could be versatile just like the name it, it has been gave the servo yeah okay so what else let's talk about the fit and finish um I suppose that the fit and finish is another part I'm not that into it because it's uh I gotta say from the from the tactical perspective it is nice because it's grippy. But uh to be honest it it it's scratchy. The the handle is a bit scratchy. Some of my knife knife fellows mention the same problem. It's actually scratchy, but not sharp though. It's it's not. It, it won't make you feel uncomfortable, but you just feel that the honeydew is there, the honeydew, which is really really hot, really hard honeydew, and. I like the the like maybe how to say that chamfer yeah just a little a little bit you can see a little bit but not that much and also the, the flipping tap I like the design of it it's not that big it's small and uh, you can like fly it out of the blade easily without hot pressing this is another like Mary another Mary on this knife okay 
so this is a knife review for servo and I hope you guys enjoy it I'm gonna uh, send it out tomorrow morning okay see you servo and if you like my video please su subscribe me and uh, follow my Instagram my Instagram is Dan it's awesome okay you can see some of my knives there and I hope you guys will enjoy it thank you bye bye